Welcome to Jay Drinking and today we are doing a review on Chimoco's Tequila. This is the still strength here. So Chimoco's is one of those many additive free brands that people just don't know about, you know? Um, beautiful bottle. Um, I'm pretty sure they're hand blown. I could be wrong, but like either way, like that's pretty dope too. So maybe it's not hand blown. Maybe this part, you know, they just like just glass onto it. You see 55, that's the 55% um, alcohol, it's 110 proof. And I think that is pretty, that's pretty dope. Nice looking bottle. This little dude on here, he's looking like he's going through some shit for real. But anywho, <laughs> it's going back to like the tequila, right? Let's get it poured up and I'll tell you more about it. Um, I said more about it, but I'm not going to tell you a lot about it. I'm just telling you, like, um, just surface level stuff because do I want to do all the research on it? Not really. I want to drink good tequila and I just want to enjoy it. So this, um, I believe they, they make this, they make this tequila. So like it's extracted with roll of meal. They cook it in the oven. It's 55%, 110 proof. Additive free. Hot topic, right? Additive free. <laughs> so... Let's just get into what it smells like. Um, <laughs> the aromas on it is strong. Agave, but man, don't it smells like super earthy. Super earthy on the nose. I mean, it's crazy earthy on the nose. Earthy, herbally. It just smells green. It smells super green for it to be a blue bottle. Green, so I kind of, I, I got an idea of what it's going to taste like. I think it's going to taste like olives. I think it's going to taste briny, maybe peppery because it's a high proof. Maybe peppery. I taste pepper. I taste brine. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely salty on the like on 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 the taste. I taste a little like I think I taste a little lime as well. I think it tastes lime. Lime salt is briny. Um, it's minerally. And it's definitely peppery. So um, I think a lot of people may confuse the pepper with alcohol burn. Like, no, no, this is pepper. This is absolutely <laughs> pepper. I definitely, I get pepper on the um, palate for sure. So like, man, so I, I get into these moods or these modes where like I want a specific type of tequila and I do like how diverse the agave plant can be. Um, this may not be something I want to drink all the time. This is something that I want when I want it. Sometimes I want something herbal. Sometimes I want something like minerally and salty. Th this is like a prime example to me personally, like how um, I look at tequila and I don't just drink any tequila, like at any point, I can't just grab a bottle off of my shelf and just drink it. I have to like want it when I want it. And this is one of those things like this is, this is like something like, um, this is just like, like, like when the weather is like grayish is like what's like if the weather is gray it's raining like this is something that i'm going to like drink because uh I, I, i'm correlating what i'm drinking in this um this glass with like how the weather is and it just like feels good to me like it's like it's soothing it's relaxing it just makes it just oh no it just feels good honestly to me i don't really know how to explain it because it's my personal feelings you know but this is like I, I like this i do like this and i like that um in agave spirits i can have like categories for what i like not all agave spirits taste the same it's like not it's like not no not 
I can't say not know because somebody's going to say that this that's a double negative like these motherfuckers went to school. But like it's uh, not any just it's just I don't know it's just, just different to me like I don't know. I don't know how to put it in words but anywho. I have to try this in um, a martini. So I think I'm a, I may do like two martinis. I may do like a, a normal martini where I add like everything to it. And I may do like, shit, it's not a martini if I just do this by itself. So, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna do a martini with it and see how it comes out. Because I think this is like a good candidate for a cocktail like that. So I'm gonna make martini whip chamaco somewhere in the near future. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it because on top of the briny and the, the salty flavor, you have like the agave as an underlying like piece, which is like, it's some type of like, it's like, it's, it's, it's a like subtle sweetness that I cannot really um, explain like how it tastes, but it is really good. And I'm happy that I bought this added a free bottle, right? Added a free bottle. So this is this is solid. Um, if you see it, buy it, try it, because I told you to try this shit, right? Um, I did not pay a lot of money for it. I think it was very reasonably um, priced. I think I was somewhere in like the 60-ish area for um, a spirit like this. I think it's, I absolutely think it's worth it. If it if this was $70, uh, but like still, like I still like it. 70 is because I know they're probably pushing it, but... This is really good. I would highly recommend this bottle and I am enjoying it. Now I'm about to go play Call of Duty. This is good. This smells great and it tastes great.